What's up, everybody? It's Matt from remove-malware.com. It's been a few weeks since I've done a video, and I've been telling people I was going to go ahead and start off with um, a little tutorial slash demonstration. Um, and this video is all about updates, critical updates, security updates, and why they're so important. I go out every single day and I see people who never ever do their Windows updates. And if they do do them, they're kind of, you know, lax in doing them because they don't feel like taking the time to reboot. You know, they, they just don't want that hassle. And what happens is that if you do not do your critical and security updates, as soon as they come out, you run a pretty high risk of getting infected with a drive-by download. And what a drive-by download is, a couple people have emailed me and asked me what it is. It's when you visit a website that has been hijacked, maybe for only a few minutes. That website immediately scans your computer for any security patches that you do not have installed and injects malicious code into your operating system. In under a few seconds, you can have rootkits installed, Trojan downloaders starting their process to download other malware, all kinds of bad stuff. But you can shut down all these threats very quickly just by downloading your Windows security and critical updates. And I'll show you how to do that later. But let's go ahead and take a look at this machine. This machine has no updates at all. This is a, a typical person that I meet that just never does their updates. And I'm going to go ahead and load a few malicious URLs. These are drive-bys. So let's take a look at what's happening here. It's scanning my computer for some holes for, for any security patches that I do not have installed. And you can see my CPU is at 100%. Malware has been loaded. My PC just rebooted. Who knows what happened? I'm definitely severely infected because most of the drive-bys I see do not reboot the PC. So this should be interesting when we, if we can boot back up into Windows. So let's see what this guy did. I would say that of the people I visit who are infected, probably 95% of them just visited a website. They did not download or run anything. They were not using P2P software. This is the number one way you can get infected. It's not email viruses. Those are pretty much a thing of the past. Drive-by downloads are where it's all at. So what do you know? Your computer is infected. So that is how you get infected by not installing your critical updates. We'll take it a few steps further here. Let's see what we got running in the background. Not much, which is pretty scary. So that means that there's some serious junk on this PC, probably root kits. When you don't see anything running, it's a great indication that something very nasty is in there. So let me pause it and I'm going to grab a few more URLs. I'll be right back. Okay, I have another exploit. See if it'll run. Usually, when they take this long, they're pretty much already gone. So, let me grab another one. Okay, I found some additional exploits and I kind of loaded them already just to save a little time. And you can see they're already loading. 
It's downloading ms18 underscore word dot exe. Um, some rogue antivirus popped up on my machine, antivirus 2010. Another version of that ms18. So, and all I'm doing is just, uh, you know, br browsing to a website. I'm not downloading anything as soon as I enter the website because my machine has not been updated. As you can see down here, I haven't updated anything yet. I haven't turned on automatic updates. Um, these threats come right through my, my machine. So, obviously, this PC has no antivirus. The, um, the purpose of this demonstration is just to kind of show you what happens when you do not patch your system. So now, you've seen what happens when you do not patch it. Let's go ahead and load up a machine that's 100% patched. Hang on one sec. Okay, we have a fully patched PC here with Internet Explorer 8. I'm just going to go ahead and show you that this has been completely patched. What you can easily do to check for the latest updates is open up your Internet Explorer, click Tools, click Windows Update. This will bring you to the official Microsoft Update Center. If you click, click Express, this will show you all your critical and security updates. Okay, as you can see, install updates zero. That means I'm 100% updated. Now, in an effort to make myself not look like an ass, if a exploit gets successfully installed, then this is something that uh, Microsoft doesn't know about, and it's what you call um, in the wild. It's an in the wild threat, meaning it's an exploit that the bad guys know but Microsoft does not know or has not released a patch for yet so that's my little disclaimer anyway let's go ahead and load some uh, URLs I think I have one from the last load here and just by having uh, Internet Explorer 8 you'll be able to block a lot of these exploit sites right away so hang on let me grab some URLs okay here's one Nope, not found. Hang on. Let's try another one. Not found. Now here's one that successfully loaded. However, it just shows you a blank page. And it does nothing. It's exactly what is supposed to happen when you're completely patched. You may arrive at the site and be like, okay, well, I see nothing. Okay, I'm out of here. And that's it. It's not a whole lot of fireworks or anything to show you here. I mean, it's, it's nothing crazy. It's just a, a blank page. The threat did not successfully execute because this is a fully patched PC. So let me grab a few, a few more. Some of these are kind of old, so hopefully I'll get some that work. Okay, this should have launched if my PC was unpatched. As you can see, nothing. Nothing at all. And all you have to do is just patch your machine. I have no antivirus on here. Nothing. Again, this is another example of um, of an exploit. This one is different. This one does not involve the um, the Windows system. It actually involves an exploit in the Adobe Flash Player. Um, and that can be taken care of checking for other applications besides the Windows operating system um, can be accomplished via a free utility um, from Sakunia. Um, I think it's called Sakunia P 
PSI. Oh, maybe I'm getting it wrong. I don't know. But it's free, and I'll kind of show that to you. So I'm going to not install this right now. So there's other threats that we're trying to load, but they got sh just shut down. So if I go to Google and um, actually if I go to Adobe, now let's just go to Flash.com. And obviously I haven't installed Flash on this thing yet, so I'll get the real version of Flash. Max some hacked up version. Okay, let's open up my browser again. Let's go to flash.com. And you can see this beautiful little flash demo loading perfectly. Yeah, flash is amazing now, man. Amazing stuff. Anyway, if I want to go ahead and load up that site, chances are if uh, Adobe has not patched this exploit, it'll probably run fine and we would get infected. Okay, since I've already visited, they've pretty much shut me down, so they will not load this this exploit again. Uh, it's a way that that they do that so that you cannot keep tracking them and keep testing out their their exploit. So they'll log your IP address, and if you've already been there, they just won't serve you the exploit again. But let me go ahead and uh, move on to Sukunia. Sakuni, oops, Sakunia, PSI, and you can go ahead and just click the little link right there. Sakunia sc scans your entire PC, all the applications on your PC for exploits. It's an awesome free little utility. Um, I have it on all my PCs. It drives me crazy sometimes. As I always have to download patches. So it runs down here in your tray. You can customize it however you want. Um, you can run it at boot, and you can run it at specified times. So right now it's scanning my PC. And I kind of figured this would happen. It says zero security threats. Well, we pretty much know that because um, there's nothing on this PC except Windows and Flash. So, But hopefully that will help you out. I know a lot of people have um, just tons and tons of applications on their PC, and you never know if that application has a hole in it. I mean, the, the most exploited applications out there are Flash and Acrobat, Adobe Reader, PDFs. Uh, those are the ones you always have to keep patched. So. Anyway, that is my demonstration on why patching Windows is so important. We only saw a few links. There's no point in actually loading more. They just will not load. They'll just see blank pages. So um, get out there. Open up your Internet Explorer. Just go to Windows Update and do an Express. If you want to have your updates automatically load and you're on XP, you can go ahead and go to automatic updates in your control panel say automatic it's going to download them every day at 3 a.m. and install them for you whenever it asks you to reboot it really means you need to reboot so do it uh, Vista is a little different kind of the same thing downloads them at 3, 3 a.m. wants you to reboot so so the first line of defense to protecting your PC from malware, forget about antivirus and all that junk. Patch your PC, and 
percent of your work of protecting your PC from malware is taken care of right away. So that's it for me tonight. I'm going to go ahead and work on some other projects now. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.